Hello, let's take a look at this AICPA Professional Code of Conduct Summary and determine which rules apply to the members in public practice and which rules applies to members in business. Starting with integrity and objectivity, it will apply to both members in public practice and member in business. Before we proceed any further, I have a public announcement about my company, FarhatLectures.com. Farhat Accounting Lectures is a supplemental educational tool that's going to help you with your CPA exam preparation as well as your accounting courses. My CPA material is aligned with your CPA review course such as Becker, Roger, Wiley, Gleam, Miles. My accounting courses are aligned with your accounting courses broken down by chapter and topics. My resources consist of lectures, multiple choice questions, true-false questions, as well as exercises. Go ahead, start your free trial today. You need to have integrity and objectivity. How about independence? For sure, member in public practice, you need to be independent if you are auditing, providing attestation service. What about member in, in business? No. Do you need to follow the general standards? Yes, for both public and business. How about compliance? Well, if you're following the general standards, those two go hand in hand. How about accounting principles? Members in public practice, they issue opinions. How about member in business? They as well have to follow accounting principles. Act discreditable. Well, can you act in a way that's going to discredit the profession? Not at all, whether you are, you are in a member in a public practice or work for a company or if you are a retiree. Contingent fees. Contingent fees only apply to people in public practice because they issue what type of opinion? Attestation opinion. Commissions and referral fees, only member in public practice. Advertising and solicitation, only members in public practice. Client, confidential information, member in public practice. And form and name of organization, member in public practice. To summarize, all the rules apply to member in practice and you just need to know what rules apply to member in business. And I hope you can remember those. Again, what we did, we went through each one of those separately and we explained. We had one session about independence because independence is very important and we covered the remaining standards in a separate recording. What should you do now? Go to Farhat Lectures and look at MCQs, true, false, additional resources that's going to help you understand the AICPA professional code of conduct. It's important whether you are a CPA exam candidate or an accounting student. Good luck, study hard and stay safe.